Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the best settings for clipping and recording on Metal TV. I'm gonna cover all of the settings for Metal TV and the best ones for getting the best FPS in games and the lowest delay, of course. So just stick around and see it for yourself. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna show you guys how to download Metal TV. So you want to go on your browser, search for Metal TV. And then you want to click on the first one from Metal TV. And then just go and download it. Click on download, save it, and then launch the setup. And after you finish the setup, then you're going to get the actual Metal TV. And that is this program right here, guys. Metal. Okay, guys. So we are now in Metal TV, as you guys can see. And guys, when you're launching Metal TV for the first time, you have to sign up. So you have to make an account for it, guys. And I've already made an account, as you guys can see right here. And then after that, you're gonna see this page right here. And guys, Metal TV has an also a community. So like you can chat with people, you can make friends with people in Metal TV. And then on the left side, we have library, guys. And here you can watch your clips guys as or recordings and I have deleted like the most of my older clips so that's why it says oh something went wrong and then you want to go to settings right here okay so first we have audio and camera guys okay so for this first setting we have recording options guys and for recording options we have three options Record all PC audio, record game audio only, and record game audio and Discord audio only. So for this setting guys, I recommend the first one. Because the first one includes all PC audio. So your microphone, Discord, Spotify, and your game audio. But the second option only includes your game audio. So no background music, not your microphone, only your game audio. And the third one, record game audio and Discord audio only. So this one is also good guys, but I don't think it would include your microphone. So that's why I don't like it that much. But it's just self preference of course. Just go and choose the setting that you like the most. And then we have separate game and voice tracks. And this one guys, if you want to edit your clips or recordings, then I recommend to turn this setting on. Because then in your editing program, your clips or recordings guys are gonna look like this. So we have game track above and the voice track down. And so this is very useful guys for editing. And then microphone input. If you want to include your microphone in your clips, you want to turn the setting on. And guys, this also depends on this setting right here. So if you have it on game audio only, and if you turn the setting on, your microphone is not going to get included in your clips. And then we have mono audio input. And guys, this setting, if it's on off for you guys, I recommend you just leave it on off because it says if microphone used as a mono input and we can't detect it. So if they do detect it, it's just gonna turn on by itself. And that's why if, you, if it's just off, just leave it on off. And then we have here your microphone, make sure to select your microphone for this and you can adjust the volume for it. And then we have noise suppression guys. So this setting guys, if your clips are too noisy, you wanna turn this setting on. Because then, as you guys can see, it's gonna improve your mic quality by reducing the background noise. And you can also adjust it. And then we have these two settings. So this is push to talk, but for metal. And it's basically, whenever you hold down a hotkey, then your voice is gonna be in the clip or the recording. A very useless setting, but this one, on the other hand, voice clipping, is very interesting, guys. And as you guys can see, it says clip using your voice by saying metal so whenever you say metal then it's gonna capture a clip guys and this can be really good but for me guys when i tried it it didn't work sometimes and that's why i don't really like the setting and i have it just turned off but if it works for you it can be really good so then we have output audio and for this one also make sure to select the right output and you can also adjust it and then we have here a camera setting. So if you're using webcam, turn the setting on if you want to show your face in your like clips or recordings. So now we're done with the audio and camera setting. Now we have clips and recording. 
so first we're gonna start with capture clips so this right here guys is for capturing clips and capturing long recordings guys and i'm also gonna show you guys how to capture long recordings by using this setting so make sure to turn this setting on and then we have here hotkeys you, have, you can add hotkeys and you can adjust the length so i have one 45 seconds and what it means is that when i press f9 as you guys can see this is my hotkey it's gonna capture the last 45 seconds guys and you can like go up to 55 seconds or even 20 minutes guys and so then you can actually capture long recordings guys for example if we put it on 15 minutes and if you press your hotkey then it's gonna clip the last 15 minutes so that's a full video and as I said, you have to also add a hotkey for it. I have it on F9. And guys, one of the best things about Metal TV is that you can actually add multiple hotkeys with their own length, guys. So for example, I can add another hotkey like this. And it says use your keyboard, mouse, or controller. And I'm using a keyboard. So I'm going to, for example, press G. This is my hotkey. G is my hotkey, for example. And I can actually adjust the length as you guys can see. So I have this right here, F9, and it's gonna capture the last 45 seconds. And I have this one, G, and it's gonna capture, for example, uh, the last 10 minutes. And this is then for capturing long videos, and this is for capturing short clips. And then we have the quality, I recommend to just put it on a standard, it's like the best one for performance in game, and it's also 60 FPS. But if you really have like a low end PC, I don't recommend going for potato mode because 24 FPS guys, it's just so bad guys, trust me. Maybe add a costume, or like select the resolution low, FPS 60, beat rate to like, to like a 15 maybe, or 20. And then guys, we have a really important setting, video encoder. So for video encoder guys, I recommend using your GPU and you have to also select your GPU. But for me, when I'm using my GPU for encoding, uh, when I launch the game, my GPU usage will go up to like 80, like 70% or something and that's not good guys. I don't know why that happens, but when I select my CPU for encoder, then it's gonna go down to like 7% and my CPU usage is also not gonna go high. So that's why I have it on CPU for encoder guys. But go first try your GPU and if your usage also went to like 50-60% then come and try CPU for encoder. And then we have full length recording guys. So the first one is full section recording. And what it does is that Metal will record your entire gaming section from open to close guys. And in my opinion, it's not a good setting, you can just use OBS for it. But if you want to use Medal for this kind of recordings, then turn the setting on. But if you just want to use Medal for capturing clips and not recording the whole entire game, then guys, make sure to turn this setting off. So off. And the second one is called Enable Long Press to Start Recording. And this one, in my opinion, is just so bad, guys. It does basically the same as this setting right here capture clips it's basically for long recordings and the same you can do right here as well like just like i showed you guys then we have a storage limit and this setting is meant for these two setting guys so as you guys can see for me it says no limit but you can basically add a limit maybe like five gigabytes and then when you have these two settings on or like one of them on and your like recordings reaches like five gigabytes or more it's gonna start deleting the oldest files so yeah, capture folder location so this guys you have to select the folder and that folder is where you can find your clips guys in your pc so you can find your clips or by going to the library so right here in metal or by going to the folders location so for me is d metal clips and then i have valorant and aimla valorant for example these are my clips and also guys make sure to select the right drive and so for me is my d drive and as you guys can see i have 500 gigabytes of available space so make sure to select the right drive as well and you can also set a limit for your clips as well just like for your recordings and then we have monitor selection just select your monitor for this 
video aspect ratio so guys if you guys don't play on a stretch res just leave this setting at a stretch to fit 16 by 9 but if you play a stretch res in some games for example in valorant or fortnite then you want to select or game aspect ratio or a stretch to fit 16 by 9 you have to go try to see like which one gives you black bars and which one does not give you black bars and after that we have advanced window capture so i don't really know about this setting guys and that's why i'm just gonna say leave it on off but if you know what this setting does and it does help you in some way then turn it on but if you don't know just like me just leave it on off but the setting that is really important guys is this setting recording buffer and for this setting we have two options memory and disk so if you have a really good 16 gigabytes of ram and more then you want to select memory for this setting but if you have a low 16 gigabytes of ram and less so like 8 gigabytes or 4 gigabytes then you want to select disk for this setting i have a 32 gigabytes of ram as you guys can see and that's why i have it on memory so and after that guys you guys want to go to notification preferences right here so guys if you care about your performance and you want the best performance in games while using metal tv then i recommend you to just turn off every one of these settings guys just turn off all of them all of these notification settings and if you turn off the first one then all of these will get turned off as well trust me guys these are just useless just turn them all off and you'll get the best performance trust me and then you guys want to go to system and system is really important so we're gonna start with background optics turn it off for the best performance possible and then we have automatic startup and what it does is that it's just gonna launch metal every time you start your pc guys and in my opinion it's a really good setting if you're using metal for capturing clips then you want of course metal all the time so just enable this setting and also you want to turn on this setting as well it's gonna minimize metal in the background so like this as you guys can see it's minimized in the background and then we have automatically focus metal and this one is also self preference guys if you turn it on it's just gonna launch metal every time you exit your game but i recommend to turn it off then guys we have a really important setting ui hardware acceleration and this setting guys it's not only for metal like discord has this setting every program has this setting guys and for all of them i recommend to just turn them all off so just turn this off guys because it's just not good and it literally says use your gpu to make the desktop app smoother and trust me the desktop app is already smooth guys you don't need to enable this setting and then for the last setting we have disable windows game mode and windows game mode guys is this right here is this setting right here guys and this setting is really good in my opinion it's gonna optimize your pc for gaming whenever you want to play a game just come and enable this setting and that's why you should turn off this setting so it doesn't disable this feature so yeah and yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you guys always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.